good morning students uh, hope everyone is doing good so in today's class of class 12 mathematics we are going to see the major part of the integration chapter 7 the major part which is methods of integration methods of integration in the indefinite integration whatever we are doing in that the major part methods of integration in that very hot one is very good one very important method the very first method which is methods of integration by substitution method the very first method is substitution method and the two more methods we have those are integration by partial fractions integration by partial fractions then third method is integration by parts integration by parts we have three methods in integration which are integration by substitution integration by partial fractions integration by parts integration by parts by parts is like uv rule by partial fractions means it is a different concept which we learn when we are learning this method i will explain about the partial fractions what are those means and the first method is substitution method it rules entire integration chapter if how much perfect you are you will be good in total integration not only integrals you will become perfect in differentiation you will become perfect in differential equations as well as applications of integrals see total this substitution method if you learn properly you will get a grip on you will get a grip on derivatives again you are going to see the derivatives concept okay derivatives and also you will get grip on differential equations which is the next chapter we are going to get upcoming and also you will get grip on applications of integrals these three topics so that's why this integration chapter is such an important in the substitution method is very important so try to concentrate lot of techniques will be there you should develop in your mind by practice only you get the technique the technique will develop in your mind by practice only if you do lot of practice you will get it so please spend the time on in the integration topic and please do more practice and if it is like two hours three hours you are doing everyday practice increase to one more hour right next integration by substitution method how to do the integration by substitution method what is the meaning of that here the thing is directly integration may not be possible after taking some expression as something else by t or by y or by z we may be able to do integration like for example you see the one example you will understand it properly see one example integration of uh, integration of it is like this it is given sin inverse x by root over 1 minus x square into dx this is the question actually sin inverse x by root over 1 minus x square integration we do not know because integration sin inverse x also we do not know and 1 by root 1 minus x square integration we know that it is sin inverse x but if it is given like this u by v rule i did not discuss i just told you u plus v u minus v is there just split integration and do it but it is like this so something that i have to do i should take some expression as t or y whatever it is so that the differentiation of that expression exists in this integral in this integral now what is integral here sin inverse x by root over 1 minus x square in this integral differentiation of particular expression exists now if you take this expression sin inverse x by root over 1 minus x square what is the derivative of sin inverse x 1 by root over 1 minus x square so the differentiation of the particular expression in this integral is exist in that particular integral itself so in that case when it is exist immediately which expression differentiation exists here sin inverse x ka differentiation exists in this so that if i take that one as some other variable is there anything going to happen it may be getting simplified let us take see the process okay i just take sin inverse x is equal to t almost the problems we take t sometimes y sometimes z sin inverse x is equal to t u t then what is the derivative of sin inverse x with respect to t i do it always with respect to x what is the derivative of sin inverse x 1 by root over 1 minus x square is equal to what is the derivative of t dt 
by dx. What is the derivative of t? dt by dx. That means if I get this dx, you get this side, left side. So 1 by root over 1 minus x square into dx is, can be written as dt. That means 1 by root over 1 minus x square into dx instead of 1 by root over 1 minus x square into dx, I can substitute dt. And instead of sin inverse x, I can substitute t. That means this expression, because of this, this expression can be changed as how it is changing t. Look at it carefully. Sin inverse x, what into t? And what happened to 1 by root over 1 minus x square into dx? Changing as dt. So now, instead of integrating this, we integrate this. What is integration of t? With respect to t, it is t square by 2. It is t square by 2 plus c. So you have see, this one I can't integrate. By substitution, I make it very simple. t has come. When t has come, t ka integration is t square by 2. Problem solved. What is t substitution? Sin inverse x was taken. We were taken t as sin inverse x. Substitute it back. So this will become sin inverse x. 4 square by 2 plus c done. That's all. So what is the integration of this expression? This one. So substitution method is telling to take some expression in the integrand as t in such a way that the differentiation of that expression must exist integrand itself. So that when I am taking as t, if I take differentiation on both sides, that other one can be taken as dt and the, some expression will be taken as t completely converted into in terms of t the expression completely converted in terms of t and we we feel very happy that we can integrate this one instead of this one right so hope you are getting it here the thing is in the integrand some expression can be taken as t in such a way that the differentiation of that expression must be there in that. Right? If I take, if I take 1 by root 1 minus x square as t, the differentiation is not there. So, I become fail. So, I don't take it. Do you understand? See, one more example I will tell you. See, integration of, integration of log x by x into dx. Now here, integration of log x in by x into dx is there. What must be taken as t? That is the question. What must be taken as t? That is substitution. That is nothing but substitution. See, if I take x is equal to t, dx, x derivative is 1. So 1 is, is there, but no use of that. 1 is there, but no use of that. Because log x is there, we, can, we are unable to eliminate it. This time, if I take log x as t, if you take log x as t, what is the derivative of log x? 1 by x. So 1 by x is present into dx is present. So log x is t. Everything can be converted into t. Very easy. So what must be taken as t this time? Log x is equal to t. So that what happens log x? Now whenever you do substitution method, something must be taken as t and you should differentiate it first. What is the derivative of log x? 1 by x. And into dx by dt you can write is equal to 1 because I am differentiating with respect to t. This problem I differentiated with respect to x. That's why dt by dx on right side. This problem I differentiated with respect to t. So however it is not a problem. Here this time 1 by x into dx can be written as d. So that means this expression log x into t. 1 by x into dx change it as dt. Now again we got the expression everything in terms of t. So you should take some expression in the integrand as t in such a way that the differentiation must be there in that integrand. Also each and everything in the integrand must be converted in terms of t. That is the technique. Do you understand? Hopefully you will get it. After doing many problems, easily you will catch the technique. Yeah, the technique is important. The technique is something must be taken as t and what is that in the integrand. You should identify that. that. That is the first step of successful. 
the first step is something must be taken as t what is that if you are identified that step one we crossed after that by differentiating that t on both sides when the differentiation is exist or not then exist then substituting everything in terms of t second step is done once you done second step then you see that you can able to do integration that is the technique the technique is in the integral something must be taken as t and in such a way that the differentiation of that something must be present in the integral try to remember this technique i do many problems many examples so that you will understand more right so the more brief like in a systematic way the substitution method before you develop the technique you should know the concept what is that with any expression any integration process any integral to be found when it is in the form of f of g of x into g dash of x into dx then this can be written as f of t into dt that means in the integral this is the integral in the integral we identified that g of x is taken as t and so that g of x derivative is g dash of x is equal to dt by dx so g dash of x into dx is equal to dt so g of x derivative g dash of x is exist with the dx so you can substitute g of x as t f of t g dash x dx as dt this is the process this is the concept technique to be developed i do many problems for that many illustrations i explain with many illustrations but thing is in your mind that technique should be developed that is important right so try to concentrate while doing the problems how i am doing what i am taking as t what i am taking as something else that is important thing right concentrate see i just start with the some standard results to be known to you you know very well what is integration of sin x which is minus cos x integration of sin x which is minus cos x plus what is integration of cos x into dx which is sin x plus this thing i told you and integration of secant square x is tan x plus c integration of cosecant square x is minus cot x plus c integration of secant x into tan x is secant x plus c integration of cosecant x cot x is minus cosecant x plus c so these are formulas based on differentiation we have taken as standard results and we are using them but did i discuss with you what is integration of tan x is a standard result it is also a standard result what we had in our text integration of tan x ka formula i did not give you if you see the formulas which i give you earlier notes otherwise earlier video i discussed in that integration of tan x i did not tell you so then you would have get a doubt that what could be the integration of tan x so look at this what is integration of tan x by using method of substitution we can get very easily see so the first standard result is integration of tan x into dx to do it see first take this one as 1 so first write integration of tan x because tan x ka integration we don't have formula directly now we are deriving this formula integration of tan x is it is sin x by cos x into dx now our technique is substitution technique we use in this integral in this sin x by cos x something we take as t in such a way that the differentiation of that t is exist with dx so if i take sin x as t sin x derivative is cos x but cos x is a denominator which is not in the numerator it is not multiplied to dx so if i take cos x as t minus sin x will come so minus sin x is a multiplied by dx no problem so that means you take here cos x is equal to t when it is cos x is equal to t what is the cos x derivative minus sin x into dx is equal to dt instead of writing dt by dx on the right side and getting dx left side directly i am writing here x 
with respect to x here with respect to t. So sin x cos x derivative to minus sin x into dx is equal to dt. Instead of writing the technique, please remember I am just doing differentiation of this. Cos x derivative is minus sin x into dx by dt is equal to 1. I should write. Because it is sin 1 should be followed, differentiation with respect to t, I did it. So dt if I send that side will come like this. Instead of writing this step in between, directly we do like this. Minus sin x into dx is equal to d. So now what will happen? But I have sin x dx minus is not there. Multiply minus on both sides. Because you have minus is not there. The sin x into dx it is minus sin x into dx. So plus sin x into dx substituted by minus dt. Cos 2x cos x substituted by t. See this one will happen minus which is sin x 1 by 1 by cos x is what t 1 by t dt so this can be because minus how dt get it is minus dt that is by minus minus what is integration of 1 by t log mod t so this can be written as plus c this can be written as log mod cos x plus c this can be written as log mod cos x power minus 1 is 1 by cos x plus c which is log mod secant x plus c secant x plus c the formula for integration of tan x is log mod secant x plus c by taking cos x is equal to t we get it so what is the standard what are the standard results we can prove in this way integration of tan x into dx is equal to log mod secant x plus c similar way by doing the same method integration of cot x into dx is equal to log mod sin x plus c r1 integration of secant x into dx is equal to log mod secant x plus tan x plus c then fourth result fourth standard result integration of cosecant x into dx is equal to log mod cosecant x minus cot x plus c do remember these four standard results we can prove by using substitution method. In textbook they were explained very easily. You can go through the solutions if you want. And these four are used as formula. Further, we take these standard results in the between the any question we get it without any solution, without reference directly, you can write it. So you should know the form as a formula. You should buy that along with other formula. So, these four are very important. Tan x integration is log mod secant x. Cot x integration is log mod sin x. Secant x integration is log mod secant x plus cot x. Secant x plus tan x. And cosecant x integration is log mod cosecant x minus cot x. So, hopefully you will remember this. Right? We use these formulas and we get it. Directly I write that one. How integration tan x is log mod sin x means it is log mod secant x means it's a formula. You should not get doubt over there. Okay. Done. Yes. Now certain problems we can do by getting more handy of the substitution method so that we get more knowledge and more technique development will be there. This first question in this example is look at this. What is integration of 1 by x log x into dx. See the technique is something must be taken as t in the integrand in such a way that differentiation must be there. So what is that one? So if I take log x as t, what is the derivative of log x? 1 by x. So is it there? Yes, it is there. Very happy. So what must be taken as t here? log x is equal to t as i told you when i take a substitution method when i take something as t next very step is we have to that differentiate that what is log x differentiation 1 by x into dx is equal to d so 1 by x into dx 1 by x uh -huh, and the dx so it becomes integration of 1 by t d now see that if you see and we do integration of 1 by t dt Yes, which is log t. If you are getting an expression, some expression which we cannot do, the time you will have to think what I have taken may be wrong. 
otherwise some more simplification is needed for me to do integration of this so if it is okay then you are successful in substitution method that is log mod p plus c immediately substitute what was the p p is log x plus c one question second integration of integration of c x square minus 6x minus 7 by x plus 2 into dx the earlier questions x square minus 6x plus 7 minus 7 by x plus 2 into dx earlier what i have done in first exercise if i factorize this x plus 2 gets cancelled and i delete it but if i factorize this i may not get x plus 2 get cancelled I won't, I won't get it because it is not a factor, x plus 2 is not a factor of this. In this case, just take x plus 2 is equal to d. What is the derivative of x plus 2? 1 into dx is equal to t. dx and dt are same. So what we do is integration of x plus 2 substituted as d minus 2 whole square minus x can be substituted as d minus 2 minus 7 by t into d because dx and dt are same now since it is not a factor we do in this method this method is useful not only when x plus 2 denominator x plus 2 whole square is there x plus 2 whole power 4 is there root over x plus 2 is there this method is very useful so why because i will write it so this one is t minus 2 whole square minus 6 into t minus 2 minus 7 open t square minus 4 t plus 4 minus 6 plus 12 minus 7 divided by t into dt even now also i cannot integrate this as directly but here after writing simplification what is the simplification t square minus 40 minus 60 minus 20 plus 4 plus 12 16 minus 7 is plus 9 by t into dt split the fraction now t square by t 10 t by t 9 by t into dt. Now what is t square by t means t minus 10 plus 9 by t into dt. So what is integration of t? t square by 2 minus what is integration of 10? 10 t. What is integration of 9 by t? 9 log mod t plus c. Done. Substitute what is t? t is equal to x plus 2 substitute. If the same question is giving you like this. Look. Integration of x square minus 6x minus 7 by root x plus 2. This time what I get? Here in this process I got in the denominator t. But in this one what I get? Same thing like this will happen. Finally I get t square minus 10t plus 9 by root t will come. And split the fraction again. Do the simplification. You get it. So, very important thing, what must be taken as t in the substitution method, that is important. Few more interesting problems we will discuss now, please try to concentrate, see this one. What is integration of, what is integration of, hmm? which is uh, like, e power x minus e power minus x by e power x plus e power minus x into dx. See, some things should be taken as the unka derivative must be there in the integral. So, what is denominator? What is numerator? Particularly notice. So, which derivative is there? So, e power x plus e power minus x derivative is what? See, whatever you are assuming that one as the the function's derivative must be there run in your mind itself so that immediately you can take a decision. In, in that way you must be tucked up in derivatives. So what is e power x plus e power minus x derivative if I take? So what is the derivative of this? e power x derivative e power x. e power minus x derivative is minus e power minus x. So into dx here it is numerator of the given question. So it will be eliminated numerator and denominator becomes t. So the question will change as 1 by t into dt which is log mod t. So what is t means substitute it. The question is not over. After doing 
the question you will have to substitute whatever the t you have taken now one more question though. this same question they ask him like integration of e power 2x minus 1 by now directly i say i can't take something as d here because e power 2x plus 1 derivative is e power 2x into 2 but it is not there e power 2x minus 1 is there that means this question is something which is related after I do some simplification in that so that I can take something as p to get it actually this and this are same the reason we are divide everything with e power x this expression every numerator and denominator all the times divide with e power x e power 2x by e power x is e power x 1 by e power x minus 1 by e power x is e minus e power minus x e power 2x by e power x e power x plus 1 by e power x e power minus x into dx now see the question number 1 in this exponential problems question number 1 and 2 both are same so that should be there ok now I can take the new denominator as t so that I get derivative is here then immediately I can use the substitution method technically you understand now the question is Question number 3, look at it very clearly. Integration of these two questions we have to take the denominator as d. Now this question you see. 4 plus 5 log x divided by x into dx. It is 4 plus 5 log x divided by x into dx. What must be taken as? See, whenever in the denominator x is there, you see that in the given question log x is there or not because the denominator x is there means 1 by x will be there in that no? 1 by x is derivative of log x so when the denominator x is there only your mind should think logarithmic expression is there or not so yes 4 plus 5 log x is there yes what is the derivative of 4 plus 5 log x something 0 plus 5 by x plus log so mostly it will work out we will see we take it 4 plus 5 log x is equal to t I am taking 4 plus 5 log x is equal to t so that 0 plus 5 into 1 by x is into dx is equal to dt so 1 by x into dx becomes 1 by 5 into dt and here one important thing whatever the constants while you are doing derivative constant whatever you are getting see that the constant is there or not pi, pi by x is not there so that one will be sent to t so we don't keep it so 1 by 5 and then immediately I can write the expression as integration 4 plus 5 log x I will keep as t 1 by x dx is 1 by 5 t so pull the constant outside 1 by 5 integration t into d hopefully what is t into dt integration t square by 2 plus c t into dt integration is t square by 2 plus c got it or not right one more question integration of integration of uh, it is like sine of tan inverse x power 4 by 1 plus x power 8 into x cube into dx this is the question very big looks like big but it is not so big question because here I should take something as t, so which is complicated. The base t, we are thinking something is t, which becomes very complicated, means that must be mostly t. So here I am feeling that you should also feel tan inverse x power 4 mostly integrated. That must be taken as t, I think so. Let us take it as t. Let us have a try. When you are trying by taking t, you are failing means you are getting another opportunity to do again. Now. Then in the second time you may get succeeded. So take something as t and try it. So I am just taking tan inverse x power 4 is equal to t. Now what is the derivative of tan inverse 1 by 1 plus x square? Have you remember tan inverse x derivative? So, so it is 1 by 1 plus x power 4 whole square. Say so this should be for x power 4 derivative. 4x cube into dx is equal to dt. Look at this 1 by 1 plus x power 8. Look at this 1 plus x power 8. You will get some happiness inside when the expression 1 plus x power 8 is here and here. So that I am right. I am doing right. You get that happiness. 
into 4x cube into dx is equal to dt. See x cube dx, x cube dx, that means right only. So then 4 is not necessary here. Send it to the right side. 1 by 1 plus x power i, x cube dx can be replaced by 1 by 4 dt. So the integration changes as sine tan inverse x power 4 is nothing but t and then this is 1 by 4 dt. So then I can take 1 by 4 outside integration sin t dt. What is sin t for integration? Minus cos t plus c. Substitute what is t? What is t? Tan inverse x power 4. Tan inverse x power 4. Sometimes it may require more simplification. I am substituting, then after substituting that as a tan inverse x power 4, what happens? This is the textbook question which you can find out in exercise. So, which is equal to 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 cos t cos of tan inverse x power 4 plus c it is done when they are not asking you to prove something else, it is done. But I can eliminate this cos by converting tan inverse into cos inverse. I can eliminate this cos by converting tan inverse into cos inverse, which is minus 1 by 4 cos of cos inverse 1 by root over 1 plus x power a plus c. So that cos inverse cos cancel. How did we get this one? Using adjacent by hypotenuse. Here x power 4 by 1 we take. Opposite by adjacent, then using adjacent by hypotenuse concept, we just eliminate this. That is equal to 1 by 4, 1 by 1 plus x power 8 plus. And this simplification not necessary. Depending on the proving question, we have to take. But this is very important in writing. Right? Your minus is missing. Got it? So one more word. Look. Which is integration of cos x minus sin x by cos x plus sin x. I said this question they asked many times. The very basic one is this. Now here substitution method is telling us to take something as t. What is that t here in this? If I take denominator is t immediately denominator derivative must be run in your mind. What is cos x plus sin x derivative? Cos x plus sin x derivative. What is that? Cos x derivative minus sin x plus sin x derivative is cos x. So, what is the cos x plus sin x if I take it as t? Cos x derivative minus sin x plus sin x derivative is cos x into dx. Am I succeeded? Oh, no. Check. Minus sin x plus cos x is present here. So, succeeded. So, this can be written as integration 1 by t into t, which is log mod t plus c, which is log mod cos x plus sin x plus c. See what is taken as t that is important. Now this same question they ask in another way that is this integration of 1 plus 1 minus tan x by 1 plus tan x. In this time what I have to do? The 1 plus tan x if I take as it is 1 plus tan x derivative is what 0 plus second square x. Is it there? Second square x is not there. So I cannot take it. That means convert this into sine by cos. Tan x as sine by cos. So let's check what I am doing. 1 minus sin x by cos x by 1 plus sin x by cos x into dx. Now take LCM. Then you get cos x minus sin x by cos x plus sin x. Actually you should know this expression also a 1 minus tan x by 1 plus tan x. See? What is the question? Same. What is this question? Same. The thing is some simplification I need to do before you I integrate or I do use substitution method. I need some simplification to that. That's what we did. And same question in this another way they ask you that what is integration of 2 cos x by cos x plus sin x into dx? What is it? This is a kind of question. Sin x plus cos x if I take as t minus sin x cos x minus sin x should be there. It is not there. But here this question I can write it as a real modification can be done there. What is that? Modification. 2 cos x write as cos x 
cos x plus sin x plus cos x minus sin x by cos x plus sin x. So then cos x plus sin x, cos x plus sin x plus cos x minus sin x by cos x plus sin x. Split the fraction. Cos x plus sin x by cos x plus sin x. Both cancel one. Cos x minus sin x by cos x plus sin x. Is the next fraction. This is splitting of fractions. Many times we use it in the integration. Now see, one integration do you? Do you know one integration? Yes. What is that x? Then other part is what? The same question. Other part, cos x minus sin x by cos x plus sin x is the same question. So we can go with that. So that means after writing integration 1 dx plus sin x into dx. Now parallelly you can do here you write x plus here you take something as t substitution method stepwise you do it. No problem. This one and same question if they ask you one more way. Look. you this question if they ask you this question integration of cos x by cos x plus sin x so when it is 2 cos x we wrote cos x plus cos sin x plus cos x minus sin x so that's splitting of the fraction and we got it but if it, there is no 2 cos x your only cos x is there this time what I have to do this time I need a 2 here constant it is not a variable. So multiply 2 inside, divide 2 outside. Then question got repeated. You can do it. Got it or not? So you will have to put pen on the paper and do the questions. So that you will not get the doubt. So then 2 cos 6 by cos 6 plus sin x again write like this. Then split the fraction. Then the first one integration is x. Then this integration by taking the denominator as t substitution method. Are you getting? One question in different ways. Now, the same question again. They ask, what is this question? Integration of 1 by 1 plus tax. This is another question. This is the textbook question. Sometimes they ask for 4 marks. 1 by 1 plus tan x. First try tan as sin by cos. 1 plus sin x by cos x into dx is equal to integration of this cos x we have multiplied here 1 by 1 and central numerator. So cos x by cos x plus sin x into dx. Again 2 is needed here. Multiply 2. Outside divide. Then 2 cos x right as. Again same problem continuation I can state here. 1 by 2 is here, 1 by 2 is here, 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 1 by 2. Right? Same question was there. Many times, many ways they ask. Many ways they ask. So try to remember this. This is a model. Right? Next. Next model. process you may get chain rule you may get uv rule you may get u by v rule many rules may come it's normal differentiation you have to do it so x e power x derivative uv rule should be applied 1 into e power x plus x into e power x into dx is equal to dt take e power x common is equal to dt so substitute see this one see this one is there here Numerator and that dx factor is same. 
So the integration can be written as 1 by cos t into dt but still 1 by cos t ka integration what is that? 1 by cos t write as secant t. Secant t integration in the very first I told you 4 formula. Secant x integration is log mod secant x minus tan. So secant t integration is log mod secant t plus tan t. So, plus 4 is the substitute x in power x. Done. Getting right? Hmm. Next, see some questions. Very easy yesterday. See, integration x square plus 5, 4 power 10 into x dx. See, x square plus 5, 1 power 10 express, express it is expanded. Use binomial theorem, multiply x, then integrate directly. But x square plus 5 whole power 10 expanding, 11 terms will come. Very long integration, it will take lot of time. Instead of that, take x square plus 5 is equal to t. What is x square derivative? 2x into dx is equal to dt. What happened to 5? Means 5 per derivative is 0, I did not. So, but x dx is here. x dx is needed. x dx is equal to 1 by 2 dt. So, which is 1 by 2 t power 10 into t because x square plus 5 was taken t power 10 x dx is 1 by 2 t constant were written outside so t power 10 integration is t power 11 by 11 in this way the many problems will come so in the exercise questions i explained in the questions i explained so in the notes i explained once again in the notes i give a clear explanation in the notes number 4 you can see so try to understand, try to improve the technique by doing lot of problems practice. Thank you so much.